Hey everyone, Jack from Jack's Films here. Recently, I asked you to recreate famous movie scenes and then send those scenes to me with and without audio so that I could try to guess the scene live on stream. Needless to say, it was a smash success. What is this? I really wish I could read lips right now. Is this so Captain Mike? Oh, Captain Mike, Captain! <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> 51624. Oh my god, I just figured it out. Woo! During this process, I realized two very important things. My acting cannot get any better. Hurry to put your name in the goblet of fire. <laughs> no, sir. And having captions on videos is extremely important. Captions help with giving the audience a better understanding of context and are super important to those viewers who are hard of hearing or watch videos without the volume turned on. Lucky for you, Adobe has a really great captions workflow built right into Adobe Premiere, and I'm here to show you how to use it. In this video, we're gonna cover SRT files, which will unlock even more utility for your captions. So let's jump into it. So what even is an SRT file? The acronym SRT stands for Subrip Text, and the file itself is a plain text file that contains critical information about your subtitles. This file can be used in a number of helpful ways, like sending to another editor to easily add captions to their video, sending to a translation service to have the video translated to another language, or uploading to YouTube so that your video has picture-perfect closed captions. Now that you know what SRT files are, let's jump back into Premiere to generate our own SRT file from our captions. If you're just joining us in this series, make sure you watch the first video to understand how to manually add captions to your video. Once you have your captions typed out, click the three horizontal dots in the captions section on the left and choose export to SRT file. Give it a name, then click save. The file generated will look something like this and contain information like sequential caption numbers, video time code for the duration of the caption, and the caption text itself. You can now send this file off to another person or upload it to YouTube in the caption segment of your video dashboard. If someone sends you an SRT file, it's very easy to get it into Premiere. I'm going to right-click my caption track and delete the track, which will open up the option now to import captions from file. Navigate to the SRT file on your computer and click open. You will now see the same options you did before when creating the captions, except this time you'll be able to select the caption style we made earlier. Under that, you can choose where the SRT file will start. The source timecode will reference the timecode numbers in the SRT file itself, while playhead position and timeline start will use information from your timeline to assign timecode to the captions. You'll likely always use source timecode for this function, but having multiple options is definitely nice. Once you click OK, your captions will appear on your video, and you can choose to edit them if you'd like. SRT files are really meant to accompany a video file and give it extra utility outside of the video itself. But if you'd like to burn the captions into the video file, you can do that from the video export dialog by choosing File, Export, Media, or use the shortcut Control M, then find the Captions tab and select Burn Captions into Video, which, you guessed it, will burn the captions into your video. For now, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial, giving it a thumbs up, and dropping a comment below letting me know how much you value my expertise and appreciate my smooth, soothing baritone. If you like more content like this, subscribe to Adobe's channel. And if you like more of this, you can find me on YouTube at Jax Films. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.